yeah. and the squats, I'm a bit worried. Body and my hamstring's well. shortening up. So I need to counteract that. Mm -hmm. the, 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 I'm loving the whole period and the, the theories of period, periodization. Today I'm in Worcester City Centre at the University Arena and with me is a long time friend of mine. We've been uh, colleagues in the fitness industry for 35, nearly 40 years. Uh, Mark Scriven, head strength and conditioning coach for the university. Mark, fantastic to come back. Tell me what's been happening. I mean, we've been here for many years, as you know, yes. working together. But what's the latest things now? Um, this facility has recently been opened, opened in January uh, this year. Uh, the university invested £20 million in the building. Um, essentially, uh, it's here to support the uh, student academic experience and integrate it with um, exposure to different sports from outside Worcester. So we're now the centre for disability sport in the country and uh, in the gym at the moment we've got the British basketball um, wheelchair basketball ladies team in on court at the moment we've got the GB men's team in both teams are flying out uh, next week to Europe for international competitions um, also we've got the Worcester Wolves basketball team that play here and they had a winning season this year, they won the league and the and the cup effectively. They always do well Mark, don't they? Yes. They and, do very well. and the university basketball team as well won the Bucks uh, trophy for something like the seventh year in eight years. Um, and the idea behind this particular facility is that it's here to train the trainers and this is where WABA fit in with this. The, um, the strategy that the university has got is that they realise a university degree just isn't enough to get a job nowadays. The student has got to leave university with that degree and with industry experience and industry qualifications. So that's where the WABA qualification uh, uh, came from um, with the university. Now, essentially, WABA would be in, uh, had a working relationship with the University of Worcester before they were University of Worcester in the 1990s when, we, when it was a college. We've since got full university status um, and the Vice Chancellor's vision is that University of Worcester students get jobs. And the reason they get jobs is while they're getting their degree and they're following their particular degree pathway with sports coaching, sports management, sports science, they have the opportunity in different activities of getting the top industry qualification that they can get. So we've got the FA in at football, we've got the RFU in at rugby, and we've got WABA in as our partners to provide that qualification for strength and conditioning and weight training. Also, while the students do this number of vocational qualifications while they're doing their their degree. Yeah. The idea being that they then come and work in here as instructors, as get coaches, experience. to get experience yeah. training yeah. all the different teams that we're responsible for. Um, that's both the university teams, we're now responsible for Worcester Swimming Club, Worcester Triathlon Club, the Worcester Reds Netball team, etc, etc, etc. Our students are being mentored and involved with them once they've gone through the WABA qualification process. So not only do they get the degree, not only have they got their industry qualification, they've also got their working experience and a prospective employer has got somebody they can use. It's so important, Mark, from when we first started, the industry was barely in existence. And there's just the odd few clubs dotted about. You opened your own clubs yeah. at one stage That's as well. Right. And then the whole industry just mushroomed yeah. and it and it ballooned at an incredible growth rate yeah. over a sort of a 20 year period, didn't it? Definitely. Um, and now I think it's becoming even more important that the students have got that inside industry knowledge and experience even before they leave the university oh, so, that, so that they can walk into a job confident that they already know how to do it. It's not a case that they've completed the course, they've already got the experience to go with it. And the other thing that I really liked was when you did the wellness programme, you started that with the staff at the university to give the students experience yes. of everyday clients, right. not just elite level sporting excellence, no. but also everyday wellness and fitness clients. Yes. 
which I think is another brilliant master plan. Well, f fun funnily enough, that you're here today, and as we speak, uh, we've got Midlands today filming our seniors programme, yep. which has been recognised as one of the um, foremost programmes in the country. Yeah. Dr Susie Hart has um, pushed this programme where we've now got over 200 senior citizens per week coming to the university, uh, attending our classes, attending adaptive basketball sessions and receiving instruction from our WABA qualified instructors. So every WABA qualified instructor when they've done when they've done their, their course with us at the university, they have to come in and then take part in these the, the, these classes. And they have to and complete the hours mark, don't they? That's right. They have to log the, their hours. We actually call them C P D hours yeah. rather than work experience yeah. because we see the need for this continual personal yeah. development, development all the time. That's right, because yeah. it's not just about having the qualification, it's about having the people skill, skills, the communication skills, yeah. uh, to be able to take yeah. that qualification and use it. And transfer the knowledge in the industry. To any yes. type of client, exactly. whether they are the lady who just wants to turn up twice a week, or whether yes. they are elite level sports performers. Yes. I remember uh, uh, Susie coming on the course herself many yes. years ago. Um, it's great that she's experienced it herself, just like you did, yes. uh, because then you can actually say it yourself how it really is. Oh, Whereas right. if people haven't experienced it, they actually don't understand the depth of what we go in together yes. to do it. Yes. So I think I think it's well, brilliant so, so. that you and Susie have both yes. actually had the experience in the past yourself. Yes, yes definitely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, we're in here at Worcester University today. Uh, it's fantastic to see Mark and the team doing such a brilliant job. Uh, we'll be back on another visit to another personal success story with one of our other franchise partners in the next video.